Hi, I'm Tom. And I'm Mike. And we're from Take Time to Travel. Today we're going to be taking a seaplane from Victoria to Vancouver. Now it's a little bit cloudy today, so I'm hoping that the filming will show up as we leave Victoria Harbour and head to Vancouver Harbour. So let's go. We started at the Victoria Harbour Airport, which is situated in the inner harbour, just steps from the downtown core. It was also just a short walk to the airport from our apartment, which was really nice. Let's head inside. Here's a map of all the places that Harbour Air flies to. It's one of the largest all seaplane airlines in the world and serves an average of 500,000 passengers per year. After we checked our bags, we sat down to wait for a little bit, then enjoyed the nice harbour views before making our way over to the departures. We took one of Harbour Air's twin otter planes. It was pretty cool to walk out onto the dock and climb aboard the seaplane. That was the first time for us. Inside, there are about 20 seats, but there weren't very many people on the flight. After everyone sat down in their seats, the pilot put on the safety demonstration video on a tablet. Then the engines fired up and the propeller started to turn. It didn't take long for us to start taxiing out into the harbour. And then, before we knew it, we were speeding up to take off, past the boats in the marina. After no time at all, we were airborne and looking back down on Victoria. That's the piers over there where the cruise ships would normally dock and the Ogden Point breakwater just reaching out behind it. During this short flight, we were only in the air for about 20 minutes, but we were able to see lots of amazing views. It would be pretty cool to live on one of these islands here, although they might be a little bit difficult to get to. Wow, British Columbia really is beautiful. It wasn't long before we started to see development and we knew we were getting closer to Vancouver. Then we began to see all of the cargo ships in the water before being able to see downtown Vancouver in the distance. It was pretty cool getting to fly over Stanley Park with the little wispy clouds down below. Vancouver really is lucky to have such a giant park right beside downtown. I love how on this part of the flight you could see down all of the major streets Then, shortly afterward, we were descending into the harbour. It was an amazing experience seeing all of the beautiful buildings, boats and yachts as we flew by over them. It's definitely something that we'll always remember. It's such a great way to arrive in such a beautiful city.
and we touched down. That was a smooth landing. Great job, Captain. It didn't take us long to taxi into Vancouver's Harbour Airport. There are a lot more planes here than in Victoria. And the ground crew helped pull us into the dock and tie us up. After a beautiful flight, it's time for us to leave. Thanks, Harbour Air. Wow, it's pretty amazing arriving by seaplane right in the downtown core like this. Time for us to take a 10 minute walk over to the hotel that we stayed at, the Fairmont Hotel Vancouver, which we'll be showing you in our next video. Wow, that was a phenomenal flight. And I think that's the first time that we've been able to walk to and from an airport. It was so convenient to be able to walk from the apartment to the Harbour Airport in Victoria, then being able to walk from the Seaplane Airport in Vancouver up to the hotel. Now, if we'd taken the ferry from Victoria, that would have taken us a few hours. And the flight itself was absolutely gorgeous, flying over all those lush green islands before flying over Stanley Park and into Coal Harbour with all the marinas and buildings we passed by. It's definitely an experience that we won't forget. If you ever get the chance, we highly recommend that you take a seaplane ride into Vancouver's Coal Harbour. Yeah, for sure. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, how much does something like this cost? For the one-way flight, it ended up costing us $170 per person. Now, this can fluctuate depending on when you are going and how much luggage you're bringing. I think we definitely do that again, don't you? Yeah, for sure. Well, thanks for coming along on our adventure today. We hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, we'd really appreciate it if you would like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications of our future videos. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm, and it helps our small channel to grow. And remember, take time to travel. Catch you on the next one.